We come now to question number seven in the name of Katrina Shanks. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister of Housing, what critical issues in the housing portfolio has he had to recently address? The Honourable Phil Heatley. Mr Speaker, I have had to address the issues surrounding the $2 billion deficit in state house maintenance that occurred during the previous Labor slum landlord's tenure, where they diverted deep depreciation money away from upgrades, leaving the state housing stock in a sorry state. Yesterday's announcement, Mr Speaker, of an additional $104 million in the next 18 months will go a long way to making sure families, our current tenants, and many of them who have kids, are going to live in some decent, healthy conditions. Phil Goff and his team should be ashamed of themselves. Point of order, the Honourable Dr Michael Draw your attention to the extreme length of that answer. Yesterday we had one answer which was about two minutes long. That was a very long answer. The standards are quite clear about the answers being concise. That was not a concise answer. Speaking the point of order, the Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Uh, Mr Speaker, I would uh, just want to point out to you that the first two questions today took nearly half an hour. The main reason for that question being put forward by the Honourable Phil Goff. If uh, we are going to periodically have long answers, that would be OK if it was just periodically, or, or, not, or infrequently, I should say. Uh, but if we're going to have uh, a, a restriction on answers, then sir, please apply it to the questions as well. I'll hear the Honourable Member, the Honourable Dr Michael Mr Speaker, if the Member had objections to the length of questions asked on questions numbers one and uh, two, you should have raised that at the time. But the fact that the question might have been overly long at question one is not a reason for an answer to be overly long on question seven. Both Members have raised a, a relevant point of order, and I am troubled by the length of time some answers are taking. Uh, I, uh, and, and I'd like to see if some ministers are very good at, at, very, at very succinct answers, very good, but likewise some questioners are taking far too long trying to put far too many points into supplementary questions. Now, I've let it go, but if members want me to uh, curtail both questions and answers a little, I am prepared to do that. So I stress to members if it goes on too much longer, I will stand and cut a minister off in, uh, if the answer to a question goes on too long, and likewise for a questioner. Uh, the uh, supplementary now will stand with uh, Katrina Shanks. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Supplementary to the Minister. What other issues has the Minister of Housing had to address in his portfolio? Uh, the Mr. Honourable Phil Heatley. Uh, Mr Speaker, I've had to address yet another admit Labor government commitment as Phil Goff said, Labor had committed to 650 net state houses this year. Unfortunately, the statement of intent that came out early last year from Housing New Zealand Corporation said they will have to reduce this to 530 houses because they don't have the funding. My understanding is they'll have to reduce it again to 475 houses because Labor never funded them for that. The Honourable George Hawkins. Why has the money appropriated in the budget for 650 new state houses and reflected in the Housing New Zealand Statement of Intent been cut by his announcement yesterday? And how honest is it to package a cut as an increase? The Honourable Phil Heatley. Mr Speaker, Housing New Zealand Corporation was never funded for 650 houses. That's why they put out a statement of intent saying they're going to have to drop it to 530 houses and have informed me that they've only got funding for 475 houses. George Hawkins and his team never funded 650 houses, 530 houses and barely 475 houses. Tim Mackendo. In light of yesterday's announcements, what is the new national government? The honourable point of order, the honourable Dr. Michael Cullen. And we didn't start with the question word. We're going to be very picky about these things. We're going to be picky all the way. The, the member might note that uh, it's helpful to start a question with a question word. Tim McIndoe. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question to the minister: 
What is the new national government delivering this financial year in light of yesterday's announcements? Honourable Phil Heatley. Mr Speaker, let me be crystal clear. There will be a net increase of roughly 540 houses this financial year. 154 under Labour and 390 under National, which will include the uh, 69 that we announced yesterday. Labour funded 154, we're funding 390. How is it we're doing better for state house tenants than they are? The Honourable George Hawkins. Does he agree with the statement made by John Key describing state housing as economic vandalism? And how can New Zealanders take National's commitment to state housing seriously when, quote, National's MPs inherently don't have a desire to expand the level of state housing in New Zealand? It's not an issue that is dear to our core constituency, as Tony Ryle said. The Honourable Phil Heatley. Mr. Speaker. The, the Labour government allowing state houses to, to fall into disrepair was economic vandalism. 